This bill is the biggest step forward on climate ever, ever, and it's going to allow going to allow us to boldly take additional steps toward meeting all of my climate goals and the ones we set out when we ran. President Biden there talking about his $433 billion Inflation Reduction Act. The bill essentially forces companies to move towards green energy or face big penalties, prompts a change to electric cars that a lot of people can't afford, requires families to get rid of their home appliances in exchange for cleaner ones. China leads the world in CO2 emissions per month, followed by the United States, India, and Russia, Germany, and Mexico, both crack the top 15. So we are spending hundreds of billions of dollars and upending our lives in the name of climate change. The countries I just listed aren't doing anything. Germany is keeping three nuclear power plants running, and they're also importing more coal than ever. Yes, coal that produces CO2. They want to reopen coal power plants to bail out the country who has Russia's largest gas import payments. That's number one. Mexico, well, they're building new oil refineries, blocking permits for wind, solar projects, and shifting energy to the government sector and going back permanently to fossil fuels. Increasing construction of coal-fired power plants, increasing mercury emissions. Translation, once again, we are the suckers of climate change. Radio host and attorney Ethan Berriman is here, noted climate uh, activist. Uh, look, everybody is all in on uh, a clean planet and clean air and clean water. Why should we be doing this stuff and spending money we don't have when nobody is following us? Well, I, I don't agree with that assertion. Um, and I would also look to the fact that Germany shot themselves in the foot by de depending themselves on that Russian gas. And now they're desperately trying to recover from, which, by the way, the United States is one of the solution providers of liquefied natural, ga natural gas, of which we've increased our exports 30 times since 2016, and it's increasing well, right, but, now. But natural gas yeah. is, not, is not something that the, the climate change enthusiasts love. I mean, we, the, 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 it, it, the, the, the finance guys love it, but not the climate change folks. Yeah, well, it's a midterm solution. It's much better than coal, obviously. And if we can uh, cut off Russia, but now let's talk about Mexico for a second. To your point, I think Mexico is going to become uh, deeply problematic. They're the ones who are going to suffer. Look, we need to invest in the United States. We need to become the global leaders in clean energy, which China stole from us essentially through their subsidizing and selling solar panels below market price, destroying most of the American solar panel industry through their actions. Um, but, but Mexico is going to suffer their own fate by switching back to hydrocarbon fuels. So yeah, they're going to- uh, Hold on, how are they no. going to, how are they going to suffer? Mexico, all of a sudden, if we all go green, hydrocarbons are going to get even cheaper. Mexico is going to have a field day. No, because their temperature is going to increase between five and seven degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, hold hold on, but oh, no, no, because everybody always says that it doesn't matter where it's burned in the world. Global warming, if you believe in that, or, or global climate change, whatever you want to call it, uh, happens to all of us. That's why we need to collectively be in this. If, if I burn, if I drive my gas car, it makes it hotter in China. Yeah, so it's not equal the way it's uh, affecting the world. It affects different parts differently. Uh, some areas uh, suffer far more like the Arctic, um, which is going to have very dramatic effects on the world as the Arctic and the Antarctic are melting. Um, but Mexico is going to suffer really severe, likely it's going to suffer very severe water shortages resulting in dramatic reduction in agricultural output, which is going to lead to potential famines just to the south of our, you think we have problems with immigration and migration now, it's going to become well, so Ethan, I, I don't understand if if if, yeah. if what you're saying is universally true okay yeah. why aren't all these other countries rushing to spend all these hundreds of billions of dollars to go green short-term economics it's that simple so mexico and i don't know what the involvement is of their current president in the hydrocarbon business how he's personally benefiting but but it's almost always about money today and the United States is, is one of the places, along with the UK and other uh, northern European countries, who are taking a long view of. So, of so you don't the, you don't worry you don't yeah. worry at all that the Chinese are using this against us, right? You know, you, I mean, we look at the pictures from the Olympics where there, there's an industrial wasteland, and then they put a ski slope in the middle of it. 
uh, make fake snow and lecture all of us on the need uh, to all of a sudden, uh, you know, go green, well, they're actually not decreasing their admissions, they're increasing uh, their admissions and then making money off of us trying to go green. Well, they're also implementing. Uh, they're, the problem is, is their economy is growing faster. Oh, come on! Do you than believe you really believe the China? Do you believe anything the Chinese say they're doing? No. Um, I also think that the Chinese are going to do everything they can to undermine us at every single yeah. turn. Um, and I did point out earlier in our conversation that they're the ones who, through their subsidies and dumping of solar mm. panels on the market, uh, destroyed essentially the American solar panel manufacturing, which is yeah, no, it's a great that is, that that is a great it's a great point and an important one uh, to make. Ethan, we got to run, but thank you. All right, thanks, Leland. All right, your thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.